the 19th century gave us wonderful inventions. There was the radio, there was a telephone, there was Edison's light bulb. What tied them all together, of course, was electricity. And it seemed wondrous. And all of a sudden, you'd flick a switch and room would be full of light. People were used to lighting with candles and torches. This, this was something that was wonderful. And then the quacks got into the game. If electricity could do all of this, if it could send messages over the air, it could light up a room, what else could it do? Illuminate disease. One of the objects that was born at that time was the electric galvanic belt. You wore it around your middle, it had some batteries in it, and it would give you a small charge, and this was supposed to eliminate disease. It also had uh, two hooks that you would kind of connect to a particular part of the male anatomy because it was supposed to correct all kinds of problems that might have occurred down there as a result of uh, what they refer to self-abuse. And then there were the wondrous machines, and they became more and more complicated, like this one. It was based on a battery. This goes back to the 1800s, and you would hold on to these handles and touch the body, and an electric current would go through you, and of course it would drive out disease. Well, the only thing it did was to enhance the placebo effect. Today, we would think that this kind of snake oil nonsense is of a bygone era. Actually, it isn't. There are all kinds of modern devices that are supposed to, to do the same kind of thing, but now they have bells and whistles and keyboards and, and flashing lights all over the place. And the claims are exactly the same, and the effect is also exactly the same. It is the good old-fashioned placebo effect. That's not to say that electricity doesn't have a role to play in health. Of course it does, and we know about pacemakers. We know that a heart can be restarted with, with, with a shock. But to claim that... Uh, Pushing electrons into the body is a cure for disease is a little bit outrageous, especially when you consider a phenomenon known as earthing. These people say that you can suck up electrons into the body just by walking barefoot. That's their claim. That's how you get healthy. That's how you cure disease. You walk barefoot, especially if you can get to a beach where there's seawater, because that is even better at conducting electricity into the body. This is absolute nonsense. Uh, but nonsense rules these days, and because people do not have enough scientific background, they can believe all of this. They can believe that earthing, that is walking barefoot, is the cure for everything. I don't think it is. I've come up with my own cure for everything, and it is indeed based on electricity. Here we go. Let me give it a try. There. I feel better already. <laughs>